I'm Jason Breach from the Axminster Skills Centre. I've been asked to talk to you about the Precision Pro pan lathe. This is more than though really a little pan lathe. Um, why do we do this? We saw a lot of pan kits, we do a lot of lathes, but we wanted something a little bit smaller, more compact, really dedicated to those more precision tasks. So what do we get with a lathe? First of all, quite small, compact, weighs 22 kilos. So if you want to take it out on site, it's portable, easy to pick up. Basic things, a couple of tool rests, 150, 80 mil long, the knockout bar, a spanner, your pen mandrel. Okay, we'll go look at a few other things. So let's see if we can get you in a bit closer, show you those features. So main features of the lathe, it's all cast iron construction, so that gives it a bit of weight. As we said, 22 kilos, so it's not going to bounce around. It has little self-adjusting leveling feet, a rubber, so you can adjust those, make it nice and stable. The tailstock, again, cast iron. We we'll swing the lathe around in a minute to get another look from this side of the handles. We have tail stock fittings on the end here, a one morse taper so we can wind the barrel forward and back. Okay, so we'll come back forward, knock this out. We've got knockout facility in the end. Headstock end, a bit more interesting because this has what would be really classed like a watchmaker's lathe. Instead of having a morse taper, we did something a little bit different so we can take the mandrel bar out we have a collet system. So the nut un undoes the collets on these, we clip in and out. Looks a little bit fiddly, you've got to tilt it, push with your fingertip, that'll clip in and out. So by changing the collets you can do different sizes. The collets range from 2 to 1 mil right up to 12 to 13. So there's a vast range, each size is a millimetre increment. Need to be clipped back into the nut, they load in. Other things then, the motor is a high precision brush motor, 375 watts, so half horsepower. It has a variable speed unit, so the speed range is 400 to 3600. So that electronic variable speed, very controllable, okay? So turn it round, let's give you an idea of the other side. So that looks a bit better for me. So the lock handle for the tailstock, nice big handle so we can get a lot of pressure. Lock handle on here. So whenever we load anything, you want the collet already in the headstock. Our mandrel bar that comes with the lathe is adjustable in length depending on what size pen you're doing. The bits come off. These are the standard bushings. So we're going to change our pen, we're going to load a pen blank. We've got our pan kit ready to go. Need a little bit more length out of the collet, so we'll undo this. We can draw it back a bit. Now the reason for going with the collet system, it's a lot more precise than a Morse taper. A lot more accurate. The tailstock is also hollow, so therefore it compresses actually the workpiece, not the bar. So we get actually a lot more pressure onto the mandrel. As I've said to you about the motor, nice and quiet. So we put the lathe on. Start. Variable speed, we can take it up, that's top rubs. We can come all the way back down. Again, I've got a lot of things on the bench now that are going to rattle about. Let's move a few things out. Other little things we need to do, just tighten that collet nut. That'll lock it in. Put the safety glasses on. We can rough our pen down just a little bit. So again, we can use quite high speed. Okay, so we're not gonna do the whole pen, we just wanna give you a brief idea. Now I love the idea of this with the collet because not only can you obviously use the mandrel so we can take our pen out, let's move our chisel, we can take the collet nuts off. We can do different sizes so as we said we can go smaller, we can go larger so I've got a selection of two or three 
This is, I think, three to two mil, half inch uh, X13 to uh, 12, and then we have a five to six. So different uses. Let's give you a bit of an idea. Let's go with the bigger, the half inch one. Why am I calling it half inch? Because I've got some half inch dowel that I like. So occasionally we'll use this. The hide stock is completely hollow, so we can slide that all the way through. I can lock up. So therefore we can continually feed the workpiece out to whatever length we want. Worries me a little bit the longer length you have, so a little homemade study just to support the batten on the end here, stop the wood whipping round. Bit of noise on this because my bit of dowel or rattle. But nice and intricate and hold. We'll hold this firmly. So if you want to do, say, jewellery making, doll's house furniture. Nice intricate little handle for something. We can do the one you work on. Cut it off. Start the next piece. So really useful in that aspect that you can do small tiny little items that constantly feed. Obviously within that you could do things really simple like hold a small drill bit exactly the same way. Even something like a sanding pad will grip totally inside there, so that's really good. Accessories. So we have four prong drive, the five eighth, three eighth, a polishing mop arbor, and a light pull drive. Now those four accessories are all completely straight shanked. To use those, you do need to use the 12 to 11 mil collet. You put that into the nut, you'll hold it directly into the lathe. Okay, so a nice positive grip, do that up. That'll hold your four prong drive, whatever else, out of those accessories. We take the nut right off. There's a small face plate. That's threaded, that'll go on. There's also a inch and a half screw chuck. Again, so you can mount your work directly onto the wood screw. They screw on and off. Other accessories that will be coming for, we are going to do a little chuck for this. All right, it's just taking a little bit of time to get made, but coming soon. So, little lathe, major thing really is fact how portable this is. So if you want to go outside, do all those pen kits and everything else, a demo, fantastic.